This is Ernest from the Kiln team. In this video, I'm going to go through Kiln Connect, give you an overview of what the product is, uh, why we built it, and also do a short demo. So the goal of Kiln Connect is to speed up your staking integration. So on the left, you can see the, the kind of classic scenario before Kiln Connect, where if you want to offer staking to your users, you have to integrate each chain one by one. And um, there's two major things you had to build. Uh, transaction crafting, right? So crafting the specific staking and unstaking transactions um, on each chain, and they're all slightly different. And uh, reporting, right? So building uh, indexers and aggregators and a reporting stack to give your users their staking rewards data and also for your internal um, accounting and compliance needs. So our goal is to streamline this process significantly by providing a unified API, um, which abstracts away the, the nuances and complexities of each chain and provides you a common interface, right? unified interface for implementing transaction crafting and reporting. Um, one important point is that Kiln Connect is validator agnostic. So not only do we support um, all the major proof of stake protocols, but we also um, support the whole network. So you don't have to use Kiln validators um, uh, in order to use this product, right? So you can, for example, integrate multiple validator providers and use Kiln Connect to have unified reporting across all these providers. Um, and this is what we illustrate here, just on the reporting point. What we see happening a lot in the market is a customer may use several providers and they get different data from each provider. And actually a lot of that is often um, uh, files like CSVs and, and, and things like that. And we've abstracted this problem away with a nice uh, unified API that indexes the whole, um, the whole market. Um, so going into a little bit more on the reporting side, um, there's three, um, three endpoints that have each have different use cases. So slash stakes gives you a real time view of each stake, right? So you can uh, query this endpoint with your user's wallet, um, a wallet address, and it gives, uh, gives you instant, um, feedback on, on the, um, the status of this uh, this wallet. So is it delegated? Um, how many rewards it's earned? And this is data that's real time. It's literally a couple of seconds um, uh, behind, right? Um, the rewards endpoint is a more detailed um, uh, day by day or epoch by epoch breakdown of the rewards earned. So if you want to show like historical data, for example, um, and a historical uh, projection um, of rewards, then you can use this, uh, this endpoint. And finally, the operations route is to see all the staking operations pertaining to a wallet. So this is more for reconciliation and compliance if you want to ensure that, um, you know, you want to review that all the, transaction, uh, all the transactions of a given wallet match the actual flow of funds um, of uh, in and out of this this wallet, you can use this endpoint to to get back all the all the staking relevant transactions. So this is just a bit of an overview of the of the of the reporting product. Um, we go into more detail, of course, in the docs. Um, so this is an API uh, based product. There are API specs at docs.api.mainnet.kiln.fi where for each protocol you can, you can see um, the different routes uh, that are available. There's also a Postman demo. So basically we provide a Postman collection which you can load up into your Postman account and, um, and use this to, um, to query the API, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and, um, and then on top, of, um, on top of this API, we have SDKs in, in Python, um, uh, so here's the uh, PyPy package um, and an SDK in uh, uh, JavaScript as well. Um, but of course, as it's a REST API under, under the hood, you can also query it from the language of your choice. Um, so now I just want to show 
a quick example of how to query, um, uh, how you can query um, the reporting API. So I'm in a uh, test account here. You can see that there's uh, 365 different stake addresses um, on five different protocols. Um, and what I just want to show is that it's very flexible in terms of how you can how you can query um, query things. So, for example, um, I can I can copy this account address. So the account is the uh, entity that groups all these stakes across these networks, right? In the kiln um, uh, in, in the kiln dashboard, and I can query. So here I'm in Postman, and I can query uh, all my ETH stakes from this account. Right, so here I've picked the get uh, query on the Eve stakes endpoint. I hit send, and here it returns the um, each of the validators that I have available um, under this account and the status, the rewards earned, uh, whether it's kiln or not, uh, kiln, run by kiln or not. Um, I can do the same um, on Solana, right? And so you see that the semantics are exactly the same. The actual endpoint is the same, so you don't have to do anything specific learning about Solana data structures and stuff. It's all abstracted away and you've got the same um, the same path here. Um, and so here I'm querying the Solana uh, stakes for this account. Um, but you can also, you can also, and you know, this goes on around ADA, Tezos, Near, Atomatic, etc. We're adding uh, several other protocols as well. Um, you can also query uh, by wallet. So for you know, a specific wallet, so here it's the wallet that has actually uh, initiated the stake and owns the withdrawal credentials to this, to this stake. Uh, I, can, I can query and here I get back all the validators that, um, uh, that, that have been deposited from this wallet. As you can see, it's not just kiln ones. So, for example, this validator uh, here is um, it's it's uh, it's not running inside the kiln infrastructure. So it's, we index the whole network. Um, you can also query by um, validator index. Sorry, by va well, by, by validator index and by validator address. And. Um, Maybe I'll show you also that you can do a, uh, you can get a a breakdown of rewards, right? So the rewards route shows you the historical um, breakdown of rewards earned by uh, by a given validator. Um, the operations route that I was mentioning is focused on showing all the transactions related to uh, related to a given wallet. So. So here, you know, I've queried for a given wallet, and you can see well, there's there's many transactions. Um, the uh, the specific uh, types of transactions. So it took a little while to to render here, but um, the uh, for example, deposit transactions. Um, if you claim uh, any rewards, or you withdraw, or you request an exit. These will come up as well, and so you can see you've got all the details um, uh, needed to go and actually uh, use this data, right? Like transaction hash and everything. Um, so yeah, this 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 gives you a bit of an overview of the uh, Postman side of things. And um, again, this collection is available uh, here if you want to try it yourself. To create an API token is very easy. You go into applications here. You create a new application. You'll have your API token, and then you can load it into the um, into your environment in in Postman. Um, so yeah, that concludes the um, the demo. I just wanted to give a quick overview. Um, what we didn't cover is the um, transaction crafting side of things. So we'll have a separate video for that. But just be aware that um, this is all covered in the um, in the kiln docs uh, as well, um, so we sort of explain explain that here. Um, the SDKs are typically um, a, a SDK docs are typically a good place to start there. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching.